All right, guys, what's up? We've got our board briefing Monday, November 28th. We'll start with our warm up. We have an AMRAP for five minutes, three different movements. Specific warm up, we're going to review the dumbbell snatch. We have four different progressions. And then we have a dumbbell thruster and dumbbell snatch warm up to do. Workout has dumbbell snatch, dumbbell thrusters in it. Okay? The thrusters are done with two dumbbells. The dumbbell snatch is done with one dumbbell alternating arms. So we have two sets, five thrusters, five dumbbell snatches, right? During those two sets, we should be able to find our workout weight. And the RX weight for, for the workout is 35 and 50. And the level one weight is 10 and 20. So something in there for everybody will find a weight that works for you, okay? Now, the workout, Ellen. It's a pretty new benchmark workout. Uh, just came out in the last two years or so. And what it is, is three rounds for time, 20 burpees. Sorry, this is RX and level two. 20 burpees, 21 alternating dumbbell snatches, 35 and 50 pounds, one dumbbell, then 12 dumbbell thrusters, two, two dumbbells. Same weight, 35, 50. Level one, 10 burpees, 12 dumbbell snatches, alternating arms, 10 pounds and 20 pounds respectively, nine dumbbell thrusters, two dumbbells, 10 and a 20, okay? After the workout, we have some skill work, post wad, four kettlebell Turkish get-ups on one arm, four on the other. Do I have to alternate every time? No, can I do four on one arm and four on the other arm? Yes. Should I even them out? Yes. Make sure you're doing four and four, okay? Eight kettlebell windmills on each arm. These two drills here are great for shoulder stability, hip mobility, abs, it does it all. That's why we do it in the CrossFit and that's why we're seeing it so much. Recently, we've done a lot of Turkish get-ups. We even did some Turkish get-ups in the workout, right? So very, um, I don't know how to say it. It's a, it's a great movement to make your body move, okay? It puts you in positions that will strengthen your shoulders, hips, back, abs, all the good stuff. All right, let's go back to the workout, Alan. Three rounds for time, 20 burpees, 21 dumbbell snatches, 12 dumbbell thrusters. Right off the hop, let's just look at those reps. The reps are pretty obtainable, um, but this workout is gonna make you breathe really hard and get really uncomfortable, okay? Um, I would say the dumbbell snatches, three sets or less, and I would say the dumbbell thrusters, three sets or less. We want to be around the 8 to 13 minute mark, somewhere in around there. We don't want to be much over the 13 minute mark or else we'll be sort of missing the stimulus of the workout. And that's to be going pretty quickly in this workout, all right? Um, <clears throat> I, don't really like I don't really like telling people what to do during workouts. But this one, you maybe want to start a little bit slower than you think you have to. And the reason being is... All three of these movements are gonna make you really breathe hard and it's gonna be taxing on the cardiovascular system. And the last movement is the thrusters with two dumbbells. It's gonna be breathing hard and then having all that, <laughs> that long movement of full squat, two, du two dumbbells overhead in a good position. It's gonna take a lot of strength and cardiovascular endurance. So, Think of saving something in the tank for those thrusters every time you come to them. Also think about starting a little bit slower and as the rounds go by, pick up the pace a little bit, okay? Um, we talked about sets, doing it in three sets. Find a loading where you can do them in three sets. It, I'd say if you're doing it RX, or sorry, if I say if you're doing it scaled and you're going unbroken, the weight might be a little bit light for you. You should have to break it up once or twice, right? If you're going RX and you're going unbroken, all the more power to you, go after it. Okay, guys? Let's have some fun with this one. Uh, let's move some, some dumbbells around the gym, have some fun. Safety, don't drop your dumbbells from the top, okay? They bounce all over the place. They can break, they can hit you, or even worse, they can hit another person, all right? So keep control of the dumbbells when they're coming down, especially on those thrusters. All right, guys? Enjoy the workout, have some fun. We'll see you guys tomorrow.